Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President and members of the Board of Directors of the Spanish Club Cordoba CF. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed the presence of the name of the kingdom in the European leagues represents a prominent sporting event, affirming the position of Bahrain and its vital role in sports, which enjoys the generous patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added that His Majesty is keen on supporting these sporting events that highlight the name of the kingdom around the world. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted by the President and members of Cordoba CF to achieve the goals set by the Board of Directors. His Highness indicated that the presence of Bahraini personalities in European clubs confirms their status and national competence in global positions. Sheikh Nasser expressed his full support to the President and members of the Board of Directors of Cordoba Club CF. He added that the Bahraini investment in the Spanish club of Cordoba CF gives the Kingdom of Bahrain an important role in sports and further advances the club's ambitions to reach the goals set for the upcoming period. He added that the Bahraini presence in the team will promote the kingdom and its achievements in various sporting events to achieve Bahrain's economic vision for the year 2030. He emphasized that Bahrain has made many achievements in the light of its investments in the European sporting market, including France, in addition to the professionalism of a number of players in the European leagues. His Highness wished the team further success in the upcoming period. The president and members of the Spanish club, Cordoba, CF expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his continuous support to the club, affirming that it contributes to realizing the goals set by the board. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed on the activities and programs of the club in the coming period. He was also briefed on a special report presented by the team to achieve its set goals. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, hailed the keynote speech which was delivered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa before the UN General Assembly's 75th session. She described the royal address as a representing Bahrain's message to the world advocating collective humanitarian action to combat the coronavirus. She commended the speech which underscored the values, principles and culture of openness and coexistence between all people of the world. She underlined in this regard the bold and historic initiative to sign the peace declaration between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Israel. She stressed Bahrain's firm commitment to peace and a just and a comprehensive settlement which would represent the best guarantee for all people in the region. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, hailed the speech of the Kingdom delivered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa before the UN General Assembly's 75th session. He praised the royal address, which reflected Bahrain's aspirations regarding current global challenges, hailing His Majesty's keenness on promoting peace and coexistence in the region. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, commending his bold initiative endorsing peace between Bahrain and Israel, while reiterating firm commitment to reaching a just and comprehensive lasting settlement on the basis of the international resolutions, the Arab Peace Initiative. As Saleh said that the people of Bahrain stand united with His Majesty the King in confronting challenges, stressing Bahrain's keenness on the international concerted efforts to combat the coronavirus. He commended His Majesty's humanitarian approach, providing health care for citizens and residents in order to overcome the pandemic. The only minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the 11th Clean Energy Ministerial Meeting, SEM 11, and the fifth session of the Innovation Ministerial Meeting, MI5. Under the patronage of the Saudi Minister of Energy, His Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Salman Al Saud, the oil minister noted that the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, and all of its subsidiaries operating in the oil and gas sector, the petrochemical industry, and the manufacturing industries are keen to use and follow up the latest developments of the environmental regulations and requirements that guarantee the quality of life and the environment within a national strategy. The minister said that Bahrain's participation in such an important event comes within the framework of the constant care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his keenness to support the efforts of the international community 
to expand the use of clean energy in a way that contributes to preserving the environment. Moreover, to reduce the carbon emissions and address global warming, which is considered a challenge to humanity. The SEM 11 was held under the slogan supporting the recovery, shaping the future, and it convenes at a critical moment to consider the role of clean energy in supporting a rapid, sustainable recovery. The MI5 dealt with the future of global cooperation in the field of innovation as the Innovation Mission Initiative nears the end of its first five-year period. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the 59th meeting of the Gulf Cooperation Council's Commercial Cooperation Committee. The virtual meeting was attended by GCC Secretary General Dr. Naif bin Falah Al Hajraf and the industry ministers in the GCC countries. Participants in the meeting from the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and Tourism were the Undersecretary for Commercial Affairs and Acting Undersecretary for Industrial Affairs, Amin Ahmed Dosari, Assistant Undersecretary for Foreign Trade, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Companies Control Director, Ali Abdel Nabi Marhoun, and Acting Director of Foreign Commercial Relations, Yusuf Mohammed Al Mu'taz. The committee discussed various issues on its agenda, including ways of boosting GCC joint work after the coronavirus pandemic, achieving food security in the GCC member states, and amending the patent law. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases has reached 6,613, with 736 recoveries and 687 registered new cases. 133 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 550 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The ministry announced the four deaths due to the COVID-19 complications. Two female citizens aged 78 and 35, a 42-year-old male citizen and a 43-year-old expatriate male. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.